If you've jailbroken your PS5 and want to change your profile avatar to something custom, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Lappy's Avatar Changer PS5 app to replace your default avatar with any image you want. This method is quick, easy, and lets you personalize your PS5 profile like never before. Let's get started. After releasing Avatar Changer for PS4 a few days ago, Lappy has now launched Avatar Changer for PS5 at the time this video was made. Here's what the app looks like. It comes with 21 built-in avatars that you can choose from. In addition to that, Lappy has also provided a separate pack of 300 anime avatars that can be installed as a PKG file, and I'll show you how to do that later. Plus, you can even add your own custom images, and I'll demonstrate that as well. Before we get started, I need to mention something. According to Lappy's tweet, on firmware versions 3.xx and 5.xx, the xAvatar file must be copied manually via FTP or PS5 Explorer to the data slash avatars folder. Since my PS5 is on firmware 5.50, we'll see if installing the app normally will make the avatars appear without needing to copy them manually. First, let's download the Avatar Changer PS5 app from the PKG Zone website. You can also download and install it directly on your PS5 using the HB Store app. Next, we need to download the pack of over 300 avatars, which is packaged into a single PKG file. Once downloaded, copy the file to a USB flash drive formatted as XFAT. Now that that's done, eject the flash drive and we'll move on to installing the PKG file on the PS5. Let's switch over to the console. Before installing the app, let me first show you my profile picture, which is still using the default avatar. Now, let's install the app. Since we're installing a homebrew application, we first need to enable the jailbreak on the PS5. First, connect your PS5 to the internet and open the web browser. Then, go to your preferred exploit host. In this case, I'm using the exploit host by Mao. Now, wait for the jailbreak process to complete. Once it's successful, we need to inject kstuff. All right, kstuff has been successfully injected. Now, let's install the Avatar Changer app. Insert the USB flash drive containing the PKG file into the PS5. Then, go to Settings, scroll to the bottom, and select Debug Settings. From there, choose Package Installer. Here's the PKG file we copied earlier. For now, I'll only install the Avatar Changer app first to see if the avatars appear. If they don't, then the extra avatar pack is useless, since we'd still need to manually copy the X avatar files, just as Lappy mentioned in his tweet. All right, let's select the PKG file and proceed with the installation. The installation is complete. Now, let's go back to the PS5 home screen. As you can see, the Avatar Changer PS5 app icon is now visible. Let's open it. And just as expected, the avatars are not showing up. This means we need to manually copy the X avatar files to the data slash avatars folder. Keep in mind, this issue only affects firmware versions 3.xx and 5.xx. On other firmware versions, the avatars should appear automatically. Now, let's copy the avatar files to the PS5. For that, we'll switch over to the PC. First, we need to download the X avatar files. Fortunately, Lapai has already provided the extracted X avatar files from the PKG. After downloading, simply extract the compressed file. Here, you can see a variety of X avatar files that we can use and copy to the PS5 in the data slash avatars folder. As mentioned earlier, there are two ways to copy the X avatar files to the PS5 via FTP or using the PS5 Explorer app. In this tutorial, I'll use PS5 Explorer because it's simpler. 
If you choose to use FTP, you'll need to enable the FTP server payload on your PS5, ensure your computer and PS5 are connected to the same network, and install an FTP client on your PC, which can be a bit complicated. Since we're using PS5 Explorer, you need to have the PS5 Explorer app installed on your console. If you haven't installed it yet, you can download it from the PKG Zone website and install it on your PS5. Now, copy the extracted XAvatar files to a USB flash drive formatted as XFAT. Once that's done, eject the flash drive and let's switch back to the PS5. Now, let's close the Avatar Changer app. Insert the USB flash drive containing the X avatar files back into the PS5. Then, open the PS5 Explorer app. From here, select root access and navigate to the data folder. First, we need to create a new folder called Avatars to store the X avatar files from the flash drive. To do this, press the triangle button, select New Folder, and type Avatars in all capital letters. Once done, select Done. Next, return to the root directory and go to the MNT folder. Here, we need to locate the flash drive we inserted. It could be listed as USB 0, USB 1, or another name, depending on which port you used. Since I plugged it into the front USB port, it's most likely USB 0. Yes, here it is. You can now see the X avatar files. Now, let's copy the X avatar files. Highlight the file you want to copy and press R1. Then press triangle and select copy. Now, navigate back to the data folder and open the avatars folder. To paste the file here, press triangle and select paste. The copying process is now complete. Let's check if the avatars appear in the Avatar Changer app. Close PS5 Explorer, then reopen the Avatar Changer PS5 app. As you can see, the avatar images have successfully appeared. There are multiple pages, and you can switch between them using R1 and L1. Now, let's change the profile avatar. I'll select this one. To apply the new avatar, press L2 and X. As you can see, the profile picture has successfully changed. You can also change your online name by pressing the Options button on the controller, and then pressing Triangle. Enter your new online name and select Done. The name has now been updated. To see the changes applied to your avatar, you need to restart your PS5. Now that the system has rebooted, we can check whether the custom avatar update was successful. As you can see, the user avatar has now changed. If we go back to the home screen, the avatar displayed at the bottom menu and at the top bar has also been updated. That means the custom avatar has been successfully applied. All right, at this point, the installation of the Avatar Changer PS5 app and the process of copying Xavatar files to make them readable by the app are complete. Remember, the Xavatar copying process is only necessary for PS5 firmware 3.xx and 5.xx. If you're on firmware 4.xx, this step is not needed. Now, what if you want to use your own custom image as an avatar? In the next steps, I'll show you how to create an X avatar file using your own selected image. To do that, let's go back to the computer. First, download the Avatar Maker app, which is also developed by Lappy. According to the instructions, before running this app, you need to install Direct 9.0c. I'll provide the download link in the description. Next, prepare the image you want to use as an avatar. Make sure the image is already cropped into a square shape to maintain the correct aspect ratio when converted into an avatar. You can use any image editing software to crop it or do it online via the website I'll share in the description. Also, ensure that the file is saved in PNG or JPG format, as these are the only file types that the Avatar Maker app supports. All right, I've already downloaded the Avatar Maker application and the image I want to use as my profile avatar. Now, let's run the Avatar Maker app. 
If you get a message prompting you to download and install .NET Framework, simply click Download and Install, then wait for the process to finish. Once it's done, relaunch the Avatar Maker application. Next, click Search Image. Select the picture you want to use as your avatar, and then click Open. Wait a few moments until you see the message Done. This means that your X avatar file has been successfully created. You can find the output file inside the Avatar Maker folder, under the Avatar subfolder. Now, simply copy the X avatar file to your PS5, placing it inside the data slash avatars directory. You can do this via FTP or by using the PS5 Explorer app, just like I demonstrated earlier. And here's the final result after installing it on my PS5. All right, that's it for this tutorial on how to change your PS5 profile avatar using Avatar Changer PS5 by Lappy. I've shown you how to install the app, add the extra X avatar files manually for firmware 3X and 5X, and even create your own custom avatar using Avatar Maker. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more PS5 jailbreak tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.